What is poppy YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dub Ass Panda, and today, guys, we are doing Island Twist. If you guys are wondering what Island Twist is, it's basically just Bohemian Rope Twist, but we're doing a knotless method, which I typically don't do. In the past, when I've done my twist, I have done rope twist, where you are starting the twist out as a twist. But this time I'm actually gonna be starting my twist out as a knotless box braid and I absolutely love this method. What it does is just makes your twist look a lot more natural and they do lay a lot better and move a lot better. So I probably will be using this method going forward, but I'm gonna be giving you guys an in-depth tutorial today on how I'm completing this style. Right now I'm moving through them pretty quick, but I'm gonna give you guys a full breakdown on how I do my twist and also how I add in my curly hair. But before we do that, let's get into the products that you guys are gonna need for this video so hair is really really important when it comes to twists because depending on what braiding hair you use when you go to dip your twist they will start to have this like unraveled look and we really don't want that so I have noticed that it really does depend what brand of hair you use I have seen island twist done with braiding hair I've also seen it done with the Cuban twist hair I've also seen it done with just regular Marley hair today I'm gonna be completing this look with regular braiding hair and of course it is my collection the dope collection and I'll make sure that I link it for you guys in the description section down below this is my beautiful client Harwis and her hair is a color four so we're going to go in and use two packs of this hair today the curly hair that I'm going to be using for this video is 100% human hair and it is the Encore brand by the Janet Collection. I'll also make sure that I link that in the description section down below. And it is in the color 4 and it is 18 inches and I'm going to show you guys how I insert that in and twist down. If you guys need links to any of the other products that I'm using in this video when it comes to gels, combs, my product wristband, everything will be listed in the description section for you guys. So make sure you guys just click and drop the box down below and I'll literally have links to everything that I am using. All right, now to get into the tutorial of how you're gonna complete your twist, you're obviously gonna make sure you part out your sections and I'm using my same parting grid that I would use for my medium knotless box braids. Because I'm going to be starting this off like a knotless box braid, I'm just going to take the same exact approach and I'm going to apply my product and comb that through and I'm going to separate this into three strands and start my knotless. Now I'm going to be starting it and braiding down at least about an inch to an inch and a half and then from there we're going to start our twist so you guys can see the ones that have already been completed. It is going to start out as a knotless box braid and then it's going to form into a twist. Sometimes when I'm doing my knotless box braids, I do comb that piece that's over my finger just to make sure that it's smooth and yeah I'm gonna be adding about three to four pieces of hair and I'm also going to be adding to my twist as I'm going and I'm gonna show you how to not only feed in hair here which I'm putting in my pointer my thumb finger but I'm also gonna show you guys how to add in hair to make your twist thicker or to extend your twist also keep in mind that we are combining two different techniques. We are combining a knotless box braid and a rope twist. And I do have separate tutorials for each of those on my channel. So if you guys are struggling um, keeping up with this tutorial, I would definitely recommend going back and watching those because there are a lot of helpful tips that will help you get through mastering this style as well. So a braid has three strands and a twist has two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the middle strand of the braid and I'm gonna equally separate that and add it to the two outside strands and that will give me my two sides of my twist. Next, I'm gonna take the right side, twist it to the right and lay it over my thumb. The piece underneath, I'm gonna start to twist it to the right side as well. The key to getting a super tight twist is to twist the braiding hair as you are also twisting the twist. And I'm gonna be using product and rubbing it down the two strands just to keep my client's natural hair smoothed out. Next, I'm gonna show you guys how to add in a piece of hair. So I'm gonna add in this piece of hair underneath. I'm obviously just putting the right with the right side, left with the left side, and I'm gonna use my pointer and my thumb finger to anchor it as I literally twist the same way that I've been twisting. I'm twisting to the right, and I'm twisting the actual strands to the left. I actually believe that I twist backwards, <laughs> according to everybody else, but um, this is just the method that works for me, and I'm using my thumb as an anchor. I'm gonna show you one more time. In this clip, I'm a little more slick with it, so I did slow it way, way down, but I'm adding another piece. This is to extend my twist and just to make sure that my twists are the same size pretty much from top until the feather's out. Using pre-stretched hair can kind of thin out quick sometimes, so you just want to make sure that you are um, 
you know, adding in hair as you are going. So I just kind of slowed that down for you guys. I don't know if that really helped, but I'm gonna just be twisting it in. This is actually easier than adding hair to a knot list for me. So I hope that you guys are really able to see how I did that and complete it. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to add in a human hair piece. So I'm gonna take this piece of human hair on the straight side, I'm gonna put it in between my middle and my ring finger, and I'm just going to add it to one side and continue to twist. Because there is a texture difference, because this is human hair, I'm making sure that I add product to that piece of human hair so that it stays in place as I'm twisting. And I'm just going to continue to twist it in, making sure that my twists are nice and tight. To know if you are twisting properly, you should be able to let go of your twist and it should not unravel. If it is unraveling, then guys, you are doing something wrong or you're not twisting correctly. Notice how nice and tight my twist are. That is by me leaving my thumb in the middle and allowing it to kind of rest on my thumb. I'm kind of controlling the tension of the actual twist. So you guys can see I'm just twisting to the right and doing the actual twist to the left. There are many different ways that you guys can finish off the ends of your twists. You guys can curl them, you can keep them straight, or you can actually add the curly human hair to them. For this video, we are gonna be curling them, but I'm still gonna be twisting down as far as I can. And I like to seal my twists with a lighter. You can braid them to seal them, or some people like to tie them, but I found that using the lighter is just the quickest and easiest method. So I'm gonna take the lighter and just lightly burn it. You're not burning it like we used to do back in the day where the hair falls off. You're just gonna lightly burn the tip so that it doesn't unravel and again like I said if you're doing your twists properly then they should stay nice and tight even as you're twisting if you let your twist go and you're doing it properly it should stay nice and tight I'm just gonna let that curly piece down and voila guys we are creating island twist now I do have a bohemian rope twist tutorial on my channel because this style is not new guys. Every year I feel like a style comes back around and we have a different name for it. Um, this style is not new so I do have a rope twist tutorial on my channel where I'm doing this same exact style but I'm starting it as um, a twist so if you guys want to check that out I made sure to link it in the top right section for you guys but like I said I do love the way that these look because now in 2023 we have transitioned to more natural looking styles you know boneless knotless just flat knotless box braids in general General, thinner stitch braids, thinner feet and braids. Um, so I just feel like this is really cute and really on trend. And honestly, y'all, these past couple months, Bohemian has just been popping. It's really been a thing. So I really love this combination and I'm glad that I get to recreate it using a different method. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this style in the comment section down below um, if you guys are rocking with it or if you guys have rocked it in the past. Now, as I'm twisting, you guys will notice sometimes that you can see the human hair sticking out of the twist. Typically with braids, this is really easy to tuck. Twists are a lot harder to tuck, I know in my experience for me personally. So what I do with those straight hairs is I just cut them off in my trimming process. At the end, you guys should always be trimming. You can either trim as you go um, or you can trim them afterwards. I typically just have my assistants go through and trim them off for me. But that is natural, obviously, because like I said, there is a texture difference. Sometimes you can um, get all of those off, sometimes you cannot, but I just wanted to bring that up because I know you guys are going to be like, the hair is sticking out, the hair is sticking out. We will be cutting those before we show you guys the finished look. Okay, so let's be realistic. I know that everyone is not gonna be able to use the Dope Collection, so let's get into some alternative hair that you may be able to use. Now, I have used in the past Expressions braiding hair. You guys know I have been an Expressions girl before I started my own line, and I have used their hair to do twists before, but you cannot use the pre-stretched Expressions braiding hair that comes in like the pack with the three. I'll link a picture of the one I'm talking about. You have to use the one that is in the pack that is not pre-stretched. And the reason why is because when you dip their braiding hair that is pre-stretched, the twists are going to loosen up. And I literally just had that issue with a client. And this is especially important for Bohemian because obviously you have the curly hair in there. And if the twist loosens, then what happens to the curly hair, especially because it's really fine straight hair, it is going to fall out of the twist. And that is literally your worst nightmare. You don't want your client to run their fingers through their hair and the twist falls out so 
you want to make sure that you are using the expressions braiding hair that comes in the pack that is not pre-stretched if you are a real braider that's what i always like to say then you should know how to pre-stretch hair and if not i do have a video of how you guys can learn to pre-stretch or feather your own braiding hair now other hair i have not tried i'm just going to be 100 honest because like i said i was an expressions girl and so i haven't really tried too many other brands but i know that that expressions that comes in the pack will work for you as well as the dope collection now when you're using marley hair cuban twist hair those both also work the cuban twist hair i actually really love i have worked with it before but it is really really stiff even after dipping it so i wasn't really 100 a huge fan of it marley hair is just more of a natural look you're not going to get a super smooth twist it's going to be more natural looking so that's just a preference but i have seen this style done with both and i have really liked both looks so those are just definitely alternatives for you guys to try as well now i have done this style on live before and people have expressed that they have issues with this transition right here going from the braid to the twist and one tip that i can give you guys is before you start twisting downward if you take your strands and you twist them to the right at least three times it'll create a tighter transition and you guys can also see in the beginning when i had the roots of um, the braids clip sometimes you can add a clip there to prevent it from moving as you're twisting and that will really help you to um, create a seamless transition right there because I know sometimes if that area is loose you'll really be able to see just a tiny tiny gap in between your twist and your braid if you guys need a separate tutorial on that just let me know because I did forget to like really zoom in and focus on that for this tutorial so if you guys need to see another one just let me know in the comment section down below and I will get it to you but guys getting twists done everybody thinks that this style is so much easier than braids and this is actually a lot harder for me personally just getting the twist to be tight and uniform and even is a lot more challenging and people are always like oh I'll just get twists they're quicker like they're actually not quicker for me but I do really really love the knotless method because like I said it just gives it a different look a different feel a different flow and it's a lot more natural for me so I do really enjoy doing this style and I would love to do it again if you guys want to see it again so just let me know in the comment section down below and y'all know I will run it back for you guys All right, so let's get into the finishing touches. Like I said, I am gonna be curling the ends of my client's hair and I'm using the gray perm rods. These are actually my favorite perm rods to use whenever I'm curling the bottom because I know at least for the curly hair that I use, it literally matches the curl pattern perfectly. But this is a tighter curl, so some clients do like and have requested a looser curl. Um, I do ask sometimes, but most of the time they're like, I don't know, you do what you want. Um, so this is typically my go-to. If you guys want to see different curl rod sizes, um, I can show you guys a video that will show you all the different curl rod sizes because that definitely is going to determine the look. And like I said, we're finishing with curls because obviously this is bohemian i do not like to add in the human hair at the ends i just feel like maintenance wise for my client it's a lot more work and i just really really love like the natural look of these little perm rods so yeah let me know what you guys prefer in the comment section down below i do use the um flexi rods sometimes but i typically do that when there's more braiding hair left out at the end so i realized that i forgot to dip one so i'm just gonna go ahead and wrap that up and, and dip it again and yeah i'm gonna get into the finished look so the curls i do not dip the curls even though it is human hair because even though the curl pattern will not leave or be gone it's just gonna loosen it up and i don't like that look so i always pin my human hair up and get it out the way and then just dip the bottom of the braids as high up as i can if you are using curly hair bundles that you guys are cutting off a weft then you can dip them in water and if you are using a human hair synthetic blend like the tasha brand you can dip it in hot water but i would always test strand a curl before you actually do it because obviously you don't want to ruin all of the beautiful curls that you just put in and for this look i used half of the, a pack of encore hair so i used one bundle the pack comes with two bundles for her edges i'm just doing something really natural of course using the dope collection guys and then i'm just showing you guys me getting set up 
um, <laughs> set up to do her little photo shoot because I realized that I didn't get many clips from the back and mainly from the front. But y'all, my clients be wanting to put on lip gloss and do this and that, and they're all really beautiful. I'm like, girl, you don't even need all of that. But I'm just showing you guys me getting set up. If you guys are interested in knowing what lighting I use, let me know in the comment section and I'll do a separate video on lighting for you guys because I have elevated in my lighting and just my techniques of getting the best before and after photos, curl placement, how your braids are laying, the angles that you're getting, all of that does really, really make a difference. So if you guys would like a tutorial on that, let me know in the comment section down below and I will get it out to you guys. Um, but my client is just beautiful, y'all. So, so gorgeous. And I love the way that these turned out. So if you guys love this style, let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said, I think I want to do it at least one or two more times. Um, I did do it live on Tink, um, but I do want to do a couple more recorded tutorials on it and get you guys some different and better angles. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. As always, thank you so much for rocking out with me. I really, really love you guys and appreciate the support. And as always, guys, I will catch you guys in my next video.